Hey, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. And Rich from Rageworks. And Rich is back with us to do another blind box unboxing. We've done so many, and Rich is so in love with Titans now that he's bought stock in their company. <laughs> and, well, he's not quite there yet, but uh, we're getting him there. Yeah, I appreciate the, the work that they're putting in uh, with some of the licenses. I'm just not... To, to do blind boxes or blind bags, it, it, I mean... I'd have to stop the pops, and then that's 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 tough. <laughs> well, stop the pops and get with the program. Yeah, I know, I know. I really, I really am getting out of hand. So <laughs> I think we're about to make things worse because we've got a really good box today, one that I've been waiting on specifically for you with this one because I know you're gonna really enjoy this one. And he already knows what it is. Not like this is a surprise. We're just pretending <laughs> it is. But yeah, uh, we're doing this bad boy. This is the Cartoon Network vinyls, Titan vinyls from Titan Merchandise. This is Series 1. Series 2 uh, has just come out fairly recently. Right. I don't have that one yet, but I do have Volume 1, Collection Number 1. I don't, I don't know if this has a special name. It's just the Cartoon Network Collection. Uh, and these are really cool because this has got all the 90s Cartoon Network stuff as well as some of the modern ones. Yep. Uh, has Definitely has some stuff that I watched or watch occasionally and some new stuff that I haven't really gotten into. But I see a lot of familiar faces, so definitely looking forward to cracking it open. Now, just like the Breaking Bad uh, box that we did with Rich, this has four 1 of 40s, uh, which is going to make this a little bit difficult for us. We're yep. not going to complete the whole set, but we should be able to complete the core set fairly easily. Uh, so this box here includes a Samurai Jack, Rigby from Regular Show, Johnny Bravo from Johnny Bravo, Finn from Adventure Time, Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory, and a Gumball from The Amazing Adventures of Gumball. On the other side of the box, we got Uncle Grandpa... We got Mordecai, Grimm, my boy Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, Steven Universe from Steven Universe, and Eduardo. And then our one of 40s, we have super variants, uh, one of 40s of Mordecai, Dexter, Johnny Bravo, and Finn. Yep. I have no idea what those are going to be. Could no be anything. Clue. Could be anything. Looking forward to seeing how they look. We should have saved Steven for last, so you could have gone Mordecai, and Grimm, and Dexter, and Steven! <laughs> Steven Universe reference number one. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for uh, well, the, the regular show ones especially because I've seen the, the figures that Jazz Wars did. I don't know how much you've seen that show. Oh, okay. I haven't. Uh, regular show. I've seen an episode here and there sporadically much like I have with uh, Adventure Time. Uh, people will be like, oh, you got to watch this episode and I'll check it out. I just haven't had time to sit down and and watch them. I, you know, I've been, I DVR'd Samurai Jack, which came back recently. So I'm yep. looking forward to sitting down and binge watching that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, the Rigby and Mordecai just because like Jazzwares did their line of action figures from regular show and they were god awful because uh, they're <laughs> tough sculpts to get. Now they're they're bad, Jeez. but you know they're 2D cartoons that they're trying to make into really 3D molds. It's really hard to do, uh, especially if you're familiar with what the characters look like. Yes, that I am. They they're tough to capture in action figure form, and Titans actually did it, whereas Jazzwares failed and crashed and burned and melted like that guy in Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. It was like that bad. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's how much I dislike them, if you can't tell. So, all right, let's dig in. We're going to start from, I think, the back end this time, just because I want to go with commons, and then we'll see what ultra rare we get at the end of this thing. Yep. We're going to make you work for it this time. Let's see if I can get these out. All right, here we go. Have Thank a box. You. Have a box. Here we go. What's in the box? What's in the box? Mine feels kind of smallish, I think. I don't really know, though. It's hard to tell. I don't really know what the size of any of these are going to be. But, ooh, all right, I got a good one. I'm happy about this. I'm going to throw mine down while you're opening yours. Whoa! It's a regular show. I got Mordecai, and that is what I'm talking about. This is the perfect Mordecai. Like I said, Jazz Rose did a terrible job, aside from the fact that their painting was awful as well. Uh, this is, like, perfect paint application. Really, really good sculpt of yep, definitely. This, this character. Because it's not an easy character to transition to a 3D toy at all. They did a good job. It's like making Simpsons toys, which was really hard, but Playmates pulled it off. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The Simpsons toys are some of the best cartoon-based properties. that I, One of the best cartoon properties that I've seen transi transition yeah. to toy form, especially because the wealth of characters that just keep cranking out. Oh, yeah. Uh, obscure, and even the obscure ones. That's the best. Save that for the Simpsons review. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, a, this is a perfect Mordecai. I love how happy he looks. <laughs> this is going to be tough to top. <laughs> can, you, can you top Mordecai? Samurai Jack. Oh. Very excited. Samurai Jack. Got it right down to his trademark scowl. Even his coloring is pretty spot on. 
course, comes with a samurai sword. Nice. Why wouldn't he? And um, pretty awesome, man. Pretty pretty badass. That's the sword he used to eventually defeat Aku. Spoiler alert. I should have said that before I gave him the spoiler. Though. <laughs> they did a good job with this. Awesome. Very cool that got that on the first try. And I mean, again, you're, you're probably more familiar with uh, Samurai Jack than regular show, but even this is like tough to transition into an action figure. Absolutely. And, you know, we're not we're not just kissing Titan's ass when we say this, because I've, like, you saw my reaction to the Jazz Wars moments ago. This is taking those 2D characters and, and giving them serious life. Yep, I, I definitely like the sculpt. They did a great job with them, for sure. And even the little top knot. Yep. Which is in there. Very secured, which is important. Yep, it is, because that's one of those things that, on most toys, breaks right the hell off. Yeah. So... Nice work. All right, let's put them in the front and let's uh, chuck our boxes. That's it. And we're off. I should actually know it now that I'm looking at it more. Mordecai is a little nice. He's got tail feathers. I mean, yep. That's, that's really nice. Yeah, they did a good job. <laughs> Detailing tail is, is perfect. A good paint job, too. I just had to notice that because I'm checking out Mordecai's butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who we got now. So those are both uh, two of 20s. So they're, they're really, really common. I wonder if we're going to get another pair of these guys. No, I feel like I got something pretty different. So do I. Hmm. Oh, yes. I, oh, cool. All right. Well, I'm happy. Rich, what time is it? Adventure time. It's adventure time. Yes, That's it is. right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> and he comes with his sword, or the sword from the, uh, the first season, I believe. So I'm going to put that in his hand and get a better look at him. And... This guy's in team from behind. He has his backpack also, which is pretty great. And this is looks like season one style fin, just based kind of like on, on the spacing between the eyes and his mouth. Yeah, I'm I'm that deep into it. Uh, it, it looks like a really old style fin, and it's pretty cool. His head is enormous. But, nice. I mean, how else do you transition that character from 2D to 3D? Because he's really one of those another tough, tough characters to do. Did a hell of a job on it, and I. Got Steven Universe. It's Steven. He's got a fat head, Steven. <laughs> yep. This is tremendous. <laughs> good job, good detailing, great paint, awesome sculpt. So Titans wish... logo, a little cartoon network under there. Yeah, I'll show you that guys that too. My, my Finn has his as well. Nice cartoon network. So Steven, yeah, I should have brought my Funko uh, Steven Universe figures. So I actually bought a bunch of the Funko Blind Box Steven Universe figures. Uh, I would have liked to have compared them. But, the detailing uh, was pretty damn good, though. Yeah, those, those are and those Funko ones are really some of the best Funko figures. And I'm not really a big Funko collector, but I like those enough to get them pretty much almost the entire set. Again, not the entire set because Funko toys suck about that. Like, you know, we've gone through these Titan boxes and we usually get the full set minus the super rares. Right. And you can eventually get them, but like with with Funko because they have so many different store exclusives. The Steven Universe line had three different store exclusive versions. Jeez. And I mean that's a that's a that's a big thing, especially as more retailers hop on. We're at the stage now where we have Walgreens exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive, yeah. Barnes and Noble exclusive. It's too it's crazy, and they're all different too. It's not even just like one of forties that'll be super rare. It's like no, some of those lines, like the Hot Topic one, had like three different ones, and yep. GameStop had three different ones, and you're missing some from other boxes in that case too. Yep. So if you're gonna complete the set, you have to invest a lot, and I did invest a lot in those Steven Universe pops, and I didn't complete the set. Jeez. I'm still missing, I think, one or two, and they're actually more, the one, one of the more common ones, I think. Oh, man. But that's the luck of the draw, because there's also less figures per box, and yeah, these at least, you're, if you get a whole box, you're going to complete at least the core set. But anyway, enough of my Funko anger. <laughs> this is a really good Steven. Uh, I, I, like I said, I wish I had the Funko just to compare, uh, but they're both really good. It's tough to compare them. It's, it's a little bit of a different style. It's kind of like almost more realistic Steven yeah. interpretation. Um that's definitely Steven Universe. <laughs> yep, can't can't get that wrong. That's for sure. I wonder if it's going to be like a. There's no there's no rare Steven in this one. I don't think. Would have been no. awesome if there was. It was like an exposed gem belly or something like that. Would have been cool. But all right, let's let's. Check. He has no accessories. Nope. So let's go ahead and chuck this. I'm I'm really bad at chucking boxes. All right, what do we got? Oh, nope. Finn's down. Save Finn. See who do we have here? Ah, it's our first double. I've got myself 
Samurai Jack. Samurai gotta, Jack. We gotta snap his neck though. Hold on. Oh no. Oh. Please. There he is. So that's that's our, our first double of the box. Samurai Jack. It's a good double to have though. Nope, not a bad one to have at all. I think his top knot is unlike the other Samurai Jack. His top knot's ah, it's a nope, his top his top knot definitely a little a little bendy. Yeah. So it is a soft top knot. And packaging will affect, I guess, what happens to it, but there you go. That's Samurai Jack, and oh my. Bad Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa. Oh, bad bad, bad Grandpa is copyrighted by someone else. We that's can't. That's right. We don't want to mix those two up at all. <laughs> that is an interesting sculpt. <laughs> have you ever watched Uncle Grandpa, Rich? No, I have not. That's why you're confused by this man whose face looks like a toilet bowl. Yes. yes. Quite a bit. And the fact that he has, like, a fanny pack with a mouth on it just screams yep, that's fanny bag. creepy 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 it's pretty perfect though for uncle grandpa <laughs> oh man definitely out of my element there it's it's pretty perfect for uncle grandpa yeah um <laughs> I, I don't know how else again like one of those characters like how would you interpret into a, a figure and that's that's <laughs> pretty much how you would do it. It, it it's a really good figure actually it's a very solid uncle grandpa it's just for somebody who's never seen it before, that's your first introduction to him, that's probably yeah. really frightening. Yeah, that's a little creepy. This is going to be in your nightmares tonight. <laughs> might be. I, I, the ears are really cool, too. It's really hard, it might be a little hard to see from this camera angle, but he's ha he has like the ear design as well, which is pretty akin to this show. Um, it's so bizarre and so Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> I kind of love this one. <laughs> that's a, it is nice. I mean, the sculpt is definitely unique. Just stare into those eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> Good. All right. And he has no accessories, unfortunately, but he doesn't need them because he's Uncle Grandpa. He is the accessory. That's it. Out of here. That's a, that's a loud one. What did I hit? I don't know. <laughs> I ran over God, something. I don't even know. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Two box seven and eight. I think I got another double. I'm pretty sure I got a fin. No, I'm wrong. I got, but I did get a double. It's another Steven. So I've got myself another Steven Universe. Or I Esteban. too have the double. Ah, you got a fin. So there's our doubles. I got Esteban Universo, and you got <laughs> Fin. That's it. Fin's little sword. But the cool thing is that I like them the second time around just as much as the first time around. There you go. This is, this was definitely a line worth waiting to do because it's a really good line so far. Let's chuck them. I'm, I'm as I knock over Steven Universe. I'm, I'm digging these a lot. Sculpts are very impressive. I'm hoping I get a Rigby soon so I can complete the adventure, uh, the, the regular show duo. I keep saying Adventure Time, but there's no there's no Jake the dog in this one. He's uh, actually in Wave Two. And oh, all right, well I got I got Rich's boy Dexter. That's it. <laughs> From Dexter's lab. And he comes with no accessories, but he doesn't need any. Beaker would have been good. Beaker, yeah, actually, Beaker would have been nice. That's, Beaker would have been good for him. That's a good smug face on Dexter. I think my nitpick here with Dexter, though, is he's tall. He, he is, is too tall. Yep, he should be shorter. My opinion, yeah, he should be shorter because he's he's meant to be a short character. And we're gonna get a Didi, I'm sure, at some point. Didi's gonna be the same height as him, and that's kind of weird and wrong. I feel like he should have been a smaller size. Cause I he, agree. It actually does make a difference how he looks. Even just he looks too tall. Yep. Just weird to say for a figure, but hair is really good. He's even got the hair swirls. Yep. They did a good job with that. Glasses are good. Paint work is nice. Can actually tell the difference between all the different aspects of his outfit, which is good. Mm -hmm. I got Gumball from the Amazing Adventures of Gumball. Oh, that's awesome. He got the blue cat. Are you familiar much with this show at all? No. All not right. This, one. So this is like me with Breaking Bad. Now it's even more Yeah. Yep. It's the show you should be watching on Cartoon Network more than probably any others. I think the most uh, airtime Cartoon Network gets is Dragon Ball Super. Okay, well, it's, we don't have any Dragon Ball Super boxes, I'm sorry. Yeah, they, they haven't no. made any Titans of those yet or any Funkos. But Funko needs to get on that, at least. I feel like Funko gobbled that up in a second. No, they did. They, they didn't make blind boxes, though, I mean. No, not blind yeah, boxes. Yeah, that, that would be good. But this Gumball, so it's a little chubby. Because <laughs> Gumball is, you know, the character is pretty much a stick. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, though, it's really cool. He just looks he looks like he has like he's been stung by bees in the face. His <laughs> cheeks look swollen. He's got kind of a chubby body because that's just the bodies of the use. But right. uh, it's it's not too accurate for this character. Is that tail move though? 
The tail. Uh, just be, I don't know. It does kind of sort of move. I'm not going to. Has a little too play much. to it, but I kind of feel like snap. <laughs> yeah, I get that feeling too. I like I like Gumball. I like this figure. I don't think it's a good version of Gumball. I'll put it that way. It's like fair his, assessment. His slightly overweight cousin uh, chewing gum. <laughs> I don't know. It's... Well played, sir. Well played. Yeah. Let that face me in your nightmares now. Uh, that one will definitely probably haunt my nightmares. Eyes will stare into your soul. More than a toilet head. <laughs> toilet head of grandpa. Your urinal mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's chuck these. All right. We're down now to ten, and then there were ten. Now I can get this guy over here. All right, let's see what we got. So. Hopefully both both new ones for us. Yes, they are new. I've got a new one and I've got now the full set. There's Rigby from regular show Let's put those besties together and yeah, again Rigby is kind of like one of those uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna get through these first and we just got something cool apparently Rigby is way too tall because <laughs> Rigby is supposed to be basically half Mordecai's size right and again It's like with this line. I feel like size... scales a little off Granted, Titans doesn't really care much about scale, but I feel like this is one of those lines where maybe something could have been done, because Funko does do that with their blind box figures. They actually do make ones of slightly different sizes. Not so huge, but enough that they are different. And the fact that he's kind of taller than Mordecai is a little bit off-putting. Uh, but he's got a really cool tail, and uh, the face is pretty good also. Again, Rigby is a really tough character to get, because he's not meant to be three-dimensional at all. <laughs> uh, it's, it's also a pretty frightening face. <laughs> it, is a pretty fr it is pretty frightening, dude. That's for sure. That is a pretty scary face, man. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great figure, though. I mean, it, it's still better than Jazz wears. Um, yeah, okay. It, I, I like it. I just wish it was a little bit shorter. Uh, I, I'm just, like, imagining this is, like, someone walking around in a Rigby costume. I, yeah. I, I want to like paint eyeballs inside the mouth and just walk around like, Rrr, kids, kids, oh, it, lo it looks like a uh, amusement park Rigby. The guy that's standing in front of a fan and his face is blowing back. <laughs> that, that's actually pretty, yeah, that's true. The way his eyes are bulging out of his head. Like yeah, he's, seriously. He's seen things. All right, now what what do you have? Oh, D.D. Oh. McKee, Dexter Company. Oh, yikes. I don't know what's up with this. That this is... Well, that's accurate. Right? Her head was pretty flat, but that flat though, am I? Mm. Eh. Yeah, it was, yeah. but it was. That's a really tough one to get in oh, three-dimensional form. I'll say that much. Um, Just stand Dexter on top and make like a totem pole. <laughs> you actually can. Oh man, that's just insane. And there's flat tops, and then there's Dee Dee. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I gotta say, like again, she's a character that's really, really stickly and tall. Right. And this works good, uh, as opposed to Gumball, for whatever reason. Like, she actually looks a little bit more stick-like, a little bit more tall, a little thinner. A little bit. I don't know why or how. I mean, that, that face is just... Oh, man. <laughs> this is a nightmarish line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's not to say we don't, we don't like these figures, so we like these a lot. I'm pretty sure I like these a lot. I don't know about you, but I'm liking these a lot. No, I like them, but, but there's a lot of them that are very, like, uh, propaganda-ish. <laughs> like, propaganda. It's like, how do you how do you get these 2D characters into 3D form without making them look like abominations? <laughs> and it's, a, it's a really thin line, and they're kind of skirting on it right now. They really are. They, they, you know, you got gems like Finn and Steven Universe and Samurai Jack and Mordecai, and then you got just weirdo yeah. gumball, and you know, the squirrel is too tall. Is he a squirrel? It's a raccoon. He's a raccoon. They could have, eh, that could have helped differentiate that a little bit more, because it does kind of look squirrelish. It's very squirrel-like Rigby. Yep. I mean, I, I do like the expression on Dee though. It's still, it reads as Dee Dee. It still stands it does. as Dee Dee. It definitely does. And it's probably one of the better of the weird ones, I'd yeah. say. Definitely. She's not as nightmare inducing as, you know, yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh, oh, urinal jowls. <laughs> Richard Nixon? I <laughs> All right. So we're missing still a few of the basics, uh, or, you know, more of the, the more common ones, rather. We still don't have a Johnny Bravo, an Eduardo, or a Grimm. Uh, and a Johnny Bravo, or I said Johnny Bravo, so I think, yeah, all right, we're missing, I guess, three of the basics. So we're bound to get at least one or two more doubles along the way. We might. 
No, we will, because there is Dexter once again. We have another Dexter, so I'm going to get rid of him. Who do you have? Johnny Bravo. Who <laughs> monkey me? <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible Johnny Bravo. It was pretty terrible. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll try and do mine, but I don't think it's much better. <laughs> no, that's worse. That's worse, actually. Okay, Here, here's a superior Johnny Bravo. Comes with a comb. <laughs> that's pretty badass. So from behind, they did a good job. And again, see, even from a scale perspective, he looks taller, bigger because of the hair. The hair helps a lot. That yeah, hair the hair does help. It's tremendous. This is a good. Yeah, that's a really good figure. Yep. And he has. A, he's the kind of character that actually lends himself to a more voluminous type of toy, anyway. Yep. His. But yeah, it's really good looking. I like how it, a lot of these seem like they're kind of sloped. They have, they have this nice, yeah, they nice do. cartoonish feel to them. They're, they're they're a little more dynamic because they that's definitely sloped. do. They have a little bit of a, but it also helps them to stand better, especially if they're going to be top heavy. Yeah, and that's commendable on their part to actually acknowledge that. Otherwise, this would have just fallen right over. But yep, absolutely. They're actually counterbalancing it, which is great. Yep. Uh, like it feels like you know it, it could be a little wobbly if it was on a not flat surface. He'd probably fall over a little bit, but maybe this is pretty solid. Yep, I like it. I think they did a great job. And that comb is pretty good too. I want to see if that comb actually fits in his hands. Oh, all right, there we go. So there you go. Yeah, the littlest nudge he does fall, but he was standing on his own for. Yep. A good amount of time. Let's. This is always the key: is does the accessory fit? This tiny little comb. Wish we had the bags of meth still to give him as well. He'd probably enjoy that. He might. From the Breaking Bad. Yes, the comb fits. If the you comb fits, he must acquit. That's it. Not bad. Nice work on that one. Uh, let's put him down there and up. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. He's in some over. trouble now. Yeah. He might have to lay down for the count. He's gonna probably knock over again at some point, but we'll worry about that when that happens. All Here right. we go. Let's chuck. Chuck out. Next. All right, so let's go down now. Next pair of boxes. Yep. See what we got. I bet you it's going to be a toy. <laughs> there we go. Here's the wonderful tab that makes it so easy to open. And all right, I got a new one. Oh, look it's at that. Grim. Why was, why was I doing Bela Lugosi? I was trying to do like Grimm's voice, but it's like that's like Caribbean vampire. I don't know. <laughs> and he does come with his Skype, Scythe? Scythe. Scythe. Yep. Skype. Skype. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's get that in his hand. That's a pretty good Grimm, too. That's actually nice. I, that's, I think that's pretty cool. That's a good looking Grimm. Yep, and the accessory can help him stand, which is Yeah, actually, he's going to need it, I think, to support himself. He is a little top heavy because of that head. But there we go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good Grim. I mean, it's not really much to comment about because it's just a skull with a robe, but it's got the good skull face. That's the Grim face. Yep, and I got Johnny oh, Bravo variant. You got the 1 of 40 Johnny Bravo. Swimsuit Johnny. <laughs> That's it. Look at those abs. And a bar comb. Another comb. So, yeah, this is sexy Johnny, I guess. Uh, the face is the same as well. The body's what's different. Yep. That's a good-looking uh, Johnny body. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job with that. His 300 abs. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good, though. The sculpt is, you know, same head sculpt, which is good. Uh, one of the few times, like you were saying before, the molded glasses don't detract from it. It's not terrible, you know? It's better than painted on, that's for sure. That is true. Yeah. And I feel like painted on would not work with a line like this. I don't, I don't think you can have painted on anything, really. There you go for comparison. Shirtless and, sh and with shirt. <laughs> I'm sure Johnny prefers the shirtless version. I'm sure he does. All right. Let's toss them out. That's it. So you got one 140, which means there's another one hiding somewhere down here. Oh, uh, we might get lucky then. Who will be the one to get it? All right. Here we go. Pull the tab. It's gonna be me. It's the one of Horty oh, Rigby. Oh, nice. That one's really cool looking. And that is Rigby, I think, from when he was uh, with his band. Yes. That's future Rigby. I, I think that's from when he's uh, with, I mean, uh, Mordecai. Mordecai and the Rigby's <laughs> from the episode where he forms a band with Rigby. And uh, yeah, that's, you just gotta watch it. I'm not gonna spoil it. You just gotta watch it. It's a really good one. And you got plain Mordecai. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so you got plain and specialty. And special Mordecai is pretty great. I wish yeah. there was a, a Rigby to go with it. <laughs> 
I love the little goatee he's got too. That's. I like the glasses. Yeah, the glasses are, are perfect. <laughs> yeah, they're a nice touch. That's. Brilliant. I like his Michael Jackson jacket too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to out what those little things are. He's got like a little like military yeah, chain. He's got a chain, and I don't even know. I, I don't remember the episode that well to figure out what all the junk is. But it's it's a really good Rigby. I mean. Mordecai, I keep calling him Rigby. I don't know why. Because you want another Rigby. I want another Rigby. I want, yeah, I want a better looking Rigby. <laughs> All right. Out of here. Down to the, that, that just like almost hit me. Wow, I, I need to just throw more aggressively. I don't know why I'm not. I'm trying to be polite once again. We've learned last time that being polite is a waste of time. <laughs> All right, now, here we go with the last two boxes. What will we get? Whatever I got has a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'll All right, well, go I got first. a double. Well, I got a Johnny Bravo double plane. Johnny, you've seen that before. You've seen it now three times. So that's it. No need to go over that one again. Rich, what do you have? Oh, you got Eduardo. Look at that. <laughs> From Foster's Home of Imaginary Friends. He's definitely top heavy. He, he looks like he got a little weight to him though, so he might stay. He looks balanced. Yeah, I was gonna say he does look top heavy. He looks balanced with it. Which is, oh, that's a very impressive sculpt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job with that. That's a nightmare face, but it's really not. It's Eduardo, it's not. so you love him, and it's all good. He's pretty happy looking. It almost looks like his teeth and horns glow in the dark. I kind of want to say that it looks like it does, maybe. Pretty sure they don't, but yeah, no, it looks like they don't, unfortunately, but... Still a nice touch. Yeah, that's a really good Eduardo. <laughs> not bad. I like that one a lot, so... That's our final figure. So because there's like four 140s, they're kind of scattered differently through the box, much like we saw with the Breaking Bad. They're a little scattered. Yep. Uh, but there, there's still at least one of them in that final row towards the front of the... I guess it's hard to say which, which way is the front and the back. But that final row from over here and then the one right before it. <laughs> yeah. You're still guaranteed to find one. So if you're going to get a box or, or just pick through a box, that's where to look. Um, but overall, this is a really, really good line, even with the Nightmarish ones. They're still pretty awesome. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you this. You know, the the strategy, like you were saying about looking through the front, it you know, a retailer may move them around too. It, oh, typically when a retailer moves them out, it's because they're just out of the box entirely. Because normally they're not even going to waste their time doing that. Right, like. but you know what it is. I have a feeling that that's one of those boxes where they're unpacking them and they just all fall out and they just put them back oh, in yeah. anyway. <laughs> and it's all for naught. Yep, I remember that with the old uh, Marvel cards. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, because Hogwarts usually grab on top. Them, yeah, grab them either from the bottom or from the top, and then they just mix them all up, and you wouldn't get nothing. <laughs> awesome collection of figures. Um, again, a home run by Titans, for sure. Uh, a lot of great properties, a lot of memories. Uh, you know, Johnny Bravo I used to watch in way back when it first aired. So, you know, seeing him in toy form is pretty cool. Brings back some awesome memories. There was a lot of really good ones. There were a few that were kind of wonky and duddish. Like, yeah, a little uh, sketchy. Gumball, that's probably... 8-1 Gumball too many? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> might be the weakest one of the bunch, and I hate to say that because I really like Gumball. Uh, I'm disappointed that this is like the only version we have of a Gumball character in any toy or collectible form, and it's chubby, bee-stung Gumball. Yeah, his his sculpt is a little weird. The Rigby sculpt is weird for Rigby's me, little, yeah. and, the, and the Didi. But everything else is pretty solid. I do wish there were some more scale issues as well. It would be nice to get just even yep. slightly different. Um, at the end of the day, though, you can't beat Uncle Grandpa. Nope, definitely cannot. Let's hide he him. Probably has a, he probably has like some of the best detailing out of the entire run. For a character that you don't even know, you can already tell, though, that's got pretty great detail. Yeah, definitely, you know. Appreciate the uh, the German leader hosen, uh, his little knapsack. It's a fanny bag. Knapsack is a different character. <laughs> it's true. I'll just I'll just let you run away with it at this point. All right, well, I'm gonna run away with these and go home. <laughs> so all right, well I'm I'm Matt from Nerd News today. And of course, Rich from Rage Works. Of course, because if it wasn't Rich, it would be someone else. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. You got it. Peace. And fling. <laughs>